Uh, 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 don't turn that dial. This is the right station if you want to hear about Jonathan Thomas and his Christmas on the Moon. Now, I hope every little girl and boy will be very quiet so they may enjoy this wonderful story of Jonathan Thomas, who made such a very important promise. Now, of course, you remember how it all came about, but if you shouldn't, I haven't a doubt it won't take long to remind you again. So this is the way the story began. You see, the Squibobliums broke all the laws and kidnapped poor old Santa Claus. And so it was up to the man in the moon and Jonathan Thomas to bring him back soon. So they climbed on the back of Gorgonzola the horse, for it was a long way to go. But then, of course, it was a dangerous road past the house of the toad and over a river so wide, and past the dwarfs who were nice and who gave them some advice about the wicked old witch of Rumpelstitch who came flying up on her broom. And she laughed and screamed in the awfulest way and said they were all headed for doom. And she cast a bad spell, which worked very well in the enchanted forest of sleep. But a good fairy queen was very soon seen when they said the word they had to say, a word they had heard from the dwarfs on the way, a magical word that went this way, hun squee nun squee giggly vey. And the good fairy queen gave them a charm to keep them quite safe from every alarm. But then Whiskery Bill, in the forest of sleep, scared the horse till he couldn't stand still. Then what do you think? As quick as a wink, Jonathan Thomas fell off and went sound as sound asleep, and there was only one token by which the spell could be broken, and that was the red, red rose. But it's winter, and most everyone knows that the Brambley Briar can't grow a red rose. She could grow a white one, but that's not red. And so to Whiskery Bill she said, Please go to the rainbow's end. You'll have to go, for there's no one else to send. And so Whiskery Bill went over the hill, and then... He met a walrus, and they became very good friends. And, well, here's where the story begins again. My goodness gracious sakes alive, do you think that we'll ever arrive? Well, after all, we've traveled quite a way. Oh, please, Sir Algie, what do you say? Well, blimey, there's lots of things that I could say, but there's one thing that I'm sure I know. And that is, we haven't far to go. No? Righto. But can't you see by the color of the air? The rainbow bridge is right over there. Well, chimney crickets, if you're not right. Oh, oh, my goodness, it's a beautiful sight. Why, there's blue and green and yellow and red. <laughs> there's so many colors, they go to my head. Now listen right careful and be as still as a mouse. The rainbow keeper lives in that little house. Well, then, what shall we do? Well, now, that's up to you. It's you who wants the color red. Oh, of course I do. That's what I told you. Well, I don't want to be killed down dead. Well, now, that's no shame. And I can give you no blame. But here's what you got to do. You go to the door, as I've told you before. And you knock and then say, how do you do? Oh. right out. Then what happens to me? Well, I don't know. You'll have to go. Then, of course, you'll see. But I can give you an int. They say he's richer than a mint. And one more thing to make you wiser. Yes? Ha, ha, you'll never guess. It's rumored around that he's quite a miser. Oh. right huh. Thank you so much for your advice and such. And I guess I'd better start. It won't do to be delayed, even though I am afraid. So I guess here's where we part. Now up with your chin and march right in, and don't be quite so alarmed, for it might be a treat, that chap, to meet, and you might even be a bit charmed. Oh! right oh. And I'll wait for your ear and old lots of cheer and wish you the very best luck. And call if you like, you poor little tyke. That is if you happens to get stuck. Well, please keep your fingers crossed and 
hope and pray I won't be lost. Here I go. Right o. Pip pip and cheerio. Take a deep breath, Whiskery Bill, and knock on the door and stand right still. One for the money, two for the show, pound on the door, and here we go. Bang, 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 and biff, biff, biff. Oh, my goodness, I'm frightened stiff. We don't want any. We've already got some. Well, that was quicker than you can say scat. For goodness sakes, how do you like that? Such goings on make me sore. Oh, this time I'll really pound this door. Biff, bang, boom, slam, bang, boom. If you don't answer, I'll break the lock. For goodness gracious to gracious me, what do you want? Whatever it is, you can't have it. Well, the least you could do is to invite me in. Why, I'd like to know. Hurry up and don't be so slow. Are, uh, are you the keeper of the rainbow? Of course I am. And I'm a very busy man. So speak up quick or I'll use this stick on you. What do you want? Well, I was wondering if you'd mind. uh, Well, that is, I mean, if you'd be so very kind. Well, you see, uh, well... For gracious sakes, will you stop all these whores and hems? Yes, sir. I've come for two beautiful ruby gems. You've come after what? Oh, no, sir. Not after what? Two ruby gems. And they must be red. You're out of your head. Why, you ought to be in bed. You're crazy enough, goodness knows. Oh, no, sir, I'm not. And they have to be got. They're to be for the brambly rose. Huh. For such a small lad, you're simply quite mad. I won't give you a thing, but I'll make you sing if you don't get out of my sight. Why, the very thought that my rubies could be bought. Why, my dear little squirrel, uh, you're not uh, quite, quite. Oh, but please, Mr. Keeper, they must be had, or, or everything will be terribly bad. And without the rose, they'll, oh, they'll be such woes. And, and I will have broken my promise, and he'll stay asleep in that forest deep. Who? My poor little Jonathan Thomas. Oh, so please, tell me are so kind of you, and I only need just one or two. The answer is no. And now you must go. Now, this is the way to the door. Say, you, you keep this up and you'll get me sore. Just stop your papers and go peddle your papers. I haven't time to worry, so there's the door and here's your hat. And please, sir, what's your hurry? All right, I'll go. But you'll soon see that you haven't seen the last of me. And when I'm through... I'll feel sorry for you, and you'll be much the wiser. Why, why, you're meaner than that witch. You'd even push little chickens in a ditch. You're nothing but a wicked old miser. Hon, ho, and hurry up and go. Now, I say goodbye. Bah, what's good about it? Oh, miser, I never did see such a nasty old thing in all my life. It's a miser. Well, truth and stick. You're back real quick. What did he say? Well, he didn't say for me to stay. He said for me to go away. That's what he said. Well, strike me pink, you mean. Yes, I mean. And now what'll we do for the color of red? I don't know. Here now, wait a mo. I've got an idea. What? We'll just be wiser than that old miser. Look, there's the rainbow bridge. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We've got to have the red, and it's just entered my head. Ho, ho, we'll break off a piece or two. Off the rainbow? Right out. Come on here, Whiskery Bill. You can't get anywhere standing still. Look here now. It's solid ruby. Enough for a king. Gee, Whistle. Oh, but we haven't got a hammer or a chisel or anything. But as I said, I've a tusk and an head. So what I'll do is put my ivory tusk on the ruby, and then you hammer me on the head. And then, like I said, we'll break off a piece or two. That's what we'll do. Uh, that's a good idea. Now then, be as quiet as a mouse. 
so the miser won't come out of his house. Are we ready? Yes, but hold right steady. Now then, you can start in to pound, but don't make too much of a sound. Go ahead, start pounding on me, Ed. Here I go. <coughs> <coughs> Run for your life. There's hundreds of rainbow police chasing us. Here come the police. Well, and so they finally got the rubies red from the rainbow. But will they be caught and put in jail maybe for a million years? Well, that old miser didn't have any right to refuse poor whiskery Bill two teensy weensy rubies. Because anyway, he doesn't own the Rainbow Bridge. Everybody does. Well, we mustn't forget to hear the next story of Jonathan Thomas so we can hear what happened to Sir Algy and Whiskery Bill. I won't forget. Don't you? Don't you?